Good morning, Sagittarius. Uh, I feel like your reading is going to get a bit messy today. I'm a bit over emotional. I'm not. I'm really tired. Like you know, when you just get up and you're exhausted for no apparent reason, you just feel like you need to sleep. So I don't know. Maybe what I'm getting is um, last night as I was sort of getting ready for bed, I kind of got this this feeling that wasn't really mine. Um, so I feel like I'm picking up on your energy, uh, where. It was kind of like feeling frustrated um, or anxious or irritated. This kind of like nervous energy um, where it's perhaps somebody wants to do something but they can't or they have to do something but they don't want to do it or um, just this really kind of like frustrated, like stuck, it's funny that I say stuck. I know this is something else then. Uh, like this stuck in place energy. I was kind of seeing like the, um, the hummingbird from this deck, like... A lot of energy being spent waiting, if that makes sense. Energy spent waiting, which is exhausting you, I think, Sagittarius. Um, or energy being exhausted in one place. It's sort of like sitting there with your foot fidgeting. Um, but So you're burning energy, but you're not moving. Um, now, Aries, thank God. <laughs> thank the skies uh, is going direct um sorry mars is going direct in aries today uh, on the 11th of no november um it's the 1111 portal if you're into those kind of things eric realms has a video on that um so it's also remembrance sunday so you know respects um so it's not remembrance sunday oh my goodness see what i mean i'm all over the place it's this really scatty energy um so it's it's Remembrance Day, Armistice Day. Um, so, yeah. Um, right, come on. Use your brain, woman. Where was I going with this? This is this reading is just going to be such a hot mess, I can tell. Um, Mar Mars is going direct in Aries. So um, Mars is the planet of action, of of uh, taking action, of moving forward, of putting things into into motion, with it going retrograde, especially in the sign of Aries. It's this re Aries is its like home sign. Uh, uh, again, an another sign of taking action, of uh, fast movement forward. Um, so with it be going backwards, it's really this kind of like grinding your gears, of like your wheels stuck in the mud energy, of not being able to move, um, of, of um, things getting in the way, problems coming up, that you know, not being able to do what you want to do um so with it going forward hopefully we're going to get out of this really quite soon i think mercury as well has been in retrograde so that hopefully will go forward as well those wheels are going to start turning so if you have got this kind of stuck in one place energy this frustrated feeling of either not being able to go towards something or away from something um the the wheels are being oiled now so you should see movement so don't not long sagittarius um I, I got a lot of images last night, um, and it was, I got a couple of dogs, um, one was, um, I had to Google the type of dog because I didn't really know what it was, um, to me it was like a slightly bigger grey, um, Scotty that looked like a Scotty mixed with a poodle, that was the way I was describing it, um, but I think it was either, I, either possibly an Airedale Terrier or a Schnauzer, um, it was like, it was grey and it was all, it was sleeping and all stretched out. Um, you can see like the, the hair around its mouth as well. Um, and then I saw another dog, uh, it was like a small, um, like a black chihuahua looking thing, I, I, very hairy. Uh, then I can't even read my writing because I was writing in the dark. I've got cow and an otter near water. I can remember seeing the otter near water. Well, the cow was like, it was a cow's face straight on, like it was coming to like coming forward towards a person and then an otter it was kind of on a riverbank here like just about to kind of like dip its feet into the water uh sort of coming down down the grassy slope towards the water um so i don't know perhaps somebody's been i don't know watching nature things or something i don't know um when <sighs> The energy that I'm getting for you, Sagittarius, um, I kind of went for a walk because I thought maybe if I go for a walk, like the, the fresh autumn air um, and actually moving will try and wake me up a little bit. It'll kind of shake off this sleepy feeling that I've got. Didn't work. I just still feel like I need to crawl back into bed. Um, and I thought as well, it might get rid of some of that weird, like tension energy that I've got. But um, a lot of the songs that were coming through, um, I was getting this kind of energy of two people who um, 
are very, very attracted to each other, very similar. Uh, the, you know, I don't like to say it too often, but possible twin flame energy. It is the 11-11 day, after all. Um, but this real feeling of like two people who um, are completely, their energy is completely tangled up with each other. They can't can't resist each other. And I think they've tried. Um, what was I getting? Uh, stuck with you by Ariana Grande. Um, I love you. I hate you. I'm stuck with you. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Um, shut the door. Throw out the key. Can't do this no more. And when she's saying can't do this no more, I was getting, I can't, I can't fight it anymore is kind of what was coming through. But then I'm getting that somebody is trying to fight it because I've got new rules by Dua Lipa. Uh, I got new rules, I'll count them. Uh, which is like um, saying, um, uh, block his number, don't let him in, you know you'll end up in his bed again. Um, all this kind of stuff. It's like you can't, either having to completely, like, completely cut this person out of your life like block them on social media but i don't think it's going to work because it's not the it's not you tang your energy's tangled with this person for some reason um and then i'm getting things like in common by alicia keys we've got too much in common why would you love someone like me like it's like why would you love someone like me but you love them and they're the same as you so if you love them they can love you back right um and scar tissue by red hot chili peppers scar tissue that i wish you saw sarcastic mr know-it-all i will fly you to the moon and back savage garden i believe in you kylie um chasing cars snow patrol it's this feeling like uh, chasing cars and um stuck with you it's like you just want to be in a room with this person. You just want to be in this person's arms and like forget about the rest of the world and just forget about like social rules, forget about any problems that you have, um, forget about all the issues that you've had. It's just this person just makes you feel whole and safe and loved and it's like but you can't be with them. So yeah, I'm probably going to end up sobbing in this reading. I'm going to tune into the energies. <laughs> yeah, I'm not prepared. I'm not emotionally prepared. I'm tired. I'm, I'm, I'm vulnerable. My walls are down. <laughs> right, okay. I'm going to pause. I'm going to tune into the energies. Hopefully not cry. Oh, the last thing. Uh, because I'm picking up on these two energies, I'm burning two uh, patchouli joysticks. Um, and when I, I lit two matches and the flame was huge, massive, massive flame, uh, didn't want to go out either. I, I was sort of blowing the flame out on the joystick and it just, it was just like moving around the other side. It didn't want to go out. So, uh, that's got to be a good sign, right? <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> you tell me. I'll be back with you in a moment. Okay. A couple of things. Um, as I'm tuning in there, um, I do the Lord's Prayer uh, just as kind of uh, a way to tune into the energies. Um, and I got to, um, uh, I can't even remember because I've, I've got the song playing in my head. Um, uh, on Earth as it is in Heaven. And I got immediately like Heaven is a Place on Earth with You by Lana Del Rey. Uh, it's not that, it, the song's called Video Games. Um, heaven is a place on earth with you. Um, tell me all the things you want to do. Yeah. Huh. They say you like the bad girls, honey. Is that true? It's like everything I do, I do for you. I tell you all the time. Heaven is a place on earth with you. Yeah. Um. And um, I think that actually did come through for you a few weeks back. And um, what else? Uh, I heard I heard someone say, you're driving each other crazy. So I don't know whether someone said that to you. You're driving each other crazy. Uh, I'm going to write down video games by Lana Del Rey. I'm just hearing, is that true? Heaven is a place on earth with you. Right, okay. Let's pull you some cards then. Sagittarius. Can I get a card, please, for this reading today? Sagittarius. Healer of the ages. Yeah. 
Um, I'm going to need another card, please. I need a clarifier, please, for Healer of the, Healer of the Ages. Can I get a clarifier, please, for Healer of the Ages for Sagittarius? It is quite, no, they're not giving it me. It's quite Sagittarius energy, contract in the bottom there. I was saying that it's like, um, it feels like the, the situation that you're in is keeping you apart. It's not so much the relationship. Um, I feel like, you know, given complete freedom, I think you two would be together in each other in each other's arms and happy and healing but it's like um social contracts uh legal contracts work contracts um you know societal expectations i feel like is is what's actually keeping you two apart um for those of you who i'm who i'm tuning into the energy of today um again it's it's a general reading it's not going to be for every single sagittarius out there so take anything that resonates leave anything that doesn't but you see here how his heart is like radiating this gorgeous healing light is like healing through love uh, love is very healing um they reminded me about scar tissue scar tissue that i wish you saw sarcastic mr know it all it's like um i feel like you've both had experiences and again that kind of um in common alicia keys you're too similar um you've had similar experiences and it might not be exactly the same but uh, it's almost like the the damage that's done is quite similar um perhaps you do have like abandonment issues or attachment issues where you you form unhealthy relationships with people or you 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 put walls up to protect that heart of yours and then don't let people in um it did come out in the reverse, so I feel like somebody's not open here, they're not opening up the heart. Um, again, I did say possible twin flames, there's two flames on that card. Um, five and one is six, that's about, um, kind of like, um, there is a sense of nostalgia with, num with the number six, but it, it's a, a, a number of balance as well. My head just really hurt on the right hand side, so I think they've got something coming through for me. Um, um, it's a card about balance, about equal give and take, about equal fair and share. Uh, yeah, really uh, equality, but it's, it's in the reverse. I really, really feel like there's resistance here to this um, for some reason. Uh, Sagittarius, I think, you know, you are one, a very humanitarian sign. You do really care about, about people. You've got a big, open, honest heart. And I think it could be difficult for you to be in environments where why is it so noisy um it can be difficult for you to be in environments where there's conflict or um people aren't being loving um i'm thinking again about that um savage garden song um uh, her her mother didn't love her much her father never kept in touch and that's why she sighs away shies away from human affection but, so it's like maybe um Maybe an avoidance of conflict, perhaps an avoidance of if you've had to avoid conflicts in your life, um, shy away from human affection because you, you don't want to damage that beautiful heart of yours, Sagittarius, perhaps. Um, OK, tell me more, please. Tell me more. Uh, buffalo yeah this that's kind of a perseverance energy that's this is kind of somebody who's been through a lot and um, they've i'm hearing wear and tear wear and tear um somebody who's um maybe had a bit of a a lot of obstacles in their life a lot of things to kind of overcome a lot of challenges to face what else are they showing me there the b yeah persevering working hard somebody who perhaps has just really worked very very hard in their life maybe had to work for everything they've got and maybe love has come second uh the cheater in the reverse uh yeah somebody's not taking action not opening the heart not taking action perhaps doesn't want to be seen as as a cheat you know if they're in a relationship already um facing forward though they are thinking about the future and about moving forward uh there's a lot of heat behind them um there really is a sense of resisting that that link that pa it's like there's something where your your heart and your passion lies in a certain place um or this is somebody towards you or both of you mirroring each other so your heart and your passion is in a certain place and you are 
putting the walls up, running away from it because you're you're scared, I think. You're really scared. Um Okay, I don't know. Sadji. Look at what's on the bottom. Two of cups. Sag, what are you doing? Um past emotions. There's that King of Pentacles. Every reading, he's been in the, every single reading. Emotionally, you wanted to take action or communicate um, something, um, or you received communication or someone took action towards you regarding this King of Pentacles. Now, the King of Pentacles could be an earth sign. Uh, it's it's um, somebody who's dependable, hardworking, um, very nurturing, um, tends to the house and home, um, you know, a good work ethic, uh, focused on the career. Uh, they're a bit of a money maker, um, but they kind of, um, they're very reliable. They give good advice, sage advice I'm hearing. Um, so it could be a father, it could be a boss, it could be a husband. Um, it's this kind of steady energy, steady eddy, steady energy. Um, may have a dog. I did see those two dogs, um, the Airedale Terrier or Schnauzer or um, kind of like a like a like a dark coloured very hairy chihuahua like a big dark coloured hairy chihuahua that's the only way I can explain it um, past thoughts then past thoughts please past thoughts taking a leap of faith here very passionate leap of faith um, trying to make something happen right <sighs> You were trying to figure out how to have some kind of new start here. You really wanted to... This is what I'm saying. You're so drawn to this person. Whether this... I don't know. This could be you or this could be them. Or it could just be different people and different energies at different times. But I'll describe who it is. It doesn't have to be a female or a male. Um, you know, you can change the gender roles out as you need to in the reading. It's more about the energy and the nature of the person. So... This person here is trying to, you, I'm reading for you, um, you were trying to figure out how to take a leap of faith towards something you were very, very passionate about, something you that really fired you up, made you feel very creative, um, really, it's like where your, your heart and your passion and your enthusiasm lay. Um, you wanted to make it happen, it felt like a bit of a dream to you, but you were trying to figure out, right, how do I make this possible, how do I make this tangibly happen, you can see this kind of portal uh, opening up here, uh, you're like, how do I, how do I open this door um, to move towards something that I'm very passionate about, could be this person, right? So I can see that this relationship, there were attempts made here, or at least somebody wanted to, emotionally and in the thoughts, they really wanted to move here. Um, so I don't know what happened. Uh, what was going on in the action space in the past, please? Uh, Ace of Cups, yeah, that that offer, all that love that you have for this person, it's a new a new person, It's so it could be somebody you, that you've... Um, it could be someone you know, it could be someone you've met, someone you've talked to. Um, I feel like you've got a very strong connection with this person, however you know them, but I don't think it's actually manifested into a relationship yet. I don't think anyone has actually taken any action in regards to this. Uh, you just There's just a lot of feelings and passion and emotions there. Like I just keep seeing like cords being pulled together, knots being tied, like energy being like almost like this, right? The energy of two people. Imagine like each hand is a person. It's like coming in and whirlpooling your energy is so tangled up with this person um but they're they're the same right they you can't go in and tangle your energy up with another person's energy if they don't if if their energy isn't doing the same thing it doesn't work like that so yeah so it's like here it is here's that energy trying to come up trying to come out trying to pull you two together but you've not taken any action here you've not offered the cup or you've not accepted the cup of this other person you've not accepted or made this emotional offer yet this new offer um so we'll find out more about what's holding you back there um when i pull some clarifiers but let's go to the current emotions can you tell me what's going on emotionally currently please for sagittarius again another ace you really want that new start here 
but it requires again this justice card and you've got contracts up there there could be other contracts uh relationship contracts it could be so, like soul contracts uh that, that need to be closed out here with this ten of swords um i can read this two ways so it's either um you really want this emotionally you really want this new star you know there's a huge amount of passion here it's um I'm hearing it's all I ever wanted. Now I'm they're giving me a song. It's, it's, it's cheesy as well. You are so beautiful to me. Um, you're everything I wanted. I, I, I only know the kind of comedy version. Does someone sing it in a, really badly in a song? Uh, you are so beautiful. To me. <laughs> But they're giving it me that way. They're giving it me the comedy version. Um, could be dealing with a Libra. No, we've got what have we got here? Aries, um, Gemini, Virgo, Libra. Uh, could be one of those signs. Doesn't have to be. It's more about the energies of the cards. Could be different placements in this person's chart. Um, I do feel like there could be two people involved here um one of you perhaps already has a partner there's two people on this card or it's kind of like somebody's looking at themselves in a mirror and seeing something that's really funny actually because the last song that I played for Spot on spotify last night for me as i was brushing my teeth and looking in the mirror was uh christina aguilera um the moonland song um when will when will my reflection show who i am inside so i feel like this is what it is it's like somebody wants to be true to themselves true to what's going on internally there's a huge amount going on internally here for somebody when will my reflection show who i am inside uh why must i pretend that i am someone else for all time yeah um i'm putting that down christina aguilera uh reflection i think it's called reflect so wanting to be true to your authentic self wanting to be balanced here trying to balance out possibly some emotions or balance out some kind of situation uh, something somebody here is willing to close something out um emotionally they've left a situation it could be that they think there's no hope here and so they're walking away uh they're being led away from it um intuitively um because they are looking for balance um they want equal give and take re reciprocity um or it could be someone wants out of some kind of contract because they've got this new passion um could be a relationship could be a work contract uh, there is a sense of needing it could be that they're trying to break this um, this connection, whatever this strong connection is with this other person. Could be that they're trying to break it with this Ten of Swords. Um, because I think it's, it's it feels almost obsessive. Um, you know, borderline possibly unhealthy. They're giving me Taking Over Me by Evanescence. I'm getting a lot of songs for you. Taking over me. Um, <clears throat> I look in the mirror and see your face if I look deep enough. That's out of that song, right? I can't, No, that's Going Under. Going Under. They're giving me two Evanescence songs. Going Under. They're giving me that quite strongly. I look in the mirror and see your face. Um, and then there's that... Um, in common again by alicia keys uh it's like you two maybe too similar to this person but that is twin flame energy they say that about um you know twin flames they can even look alike or um tell me something about eyes um Oh, the Emperor's hiding. Look at that. In your thoughts, the Emperor's hiding. Um, yeah, I feel like sounds about right. So this is um, so this is going to be, it could be you, it could be the other person. Either, <clears throat> excuse me, my throat is closing up. Yeah, you're not speaking your truth. You're not telling this person how you feel. Um, either this is that person is completely occupying your thoughts. It's everything, it's all 
you can think about it's all it, it's just it really is almost obsession like um taking over me taking over your thoughts this emperor um the emperor if it's somebody you you are interested in it's somebody that you've really put on a pedestal you see them as kind of like everything you know your, your dream person if you wrote a list of everything that you could ever want from a person this person represents that to you uh it could be a sense that you're wondering if they're playing games with you they have got this chess piece here um Again, it's um, uh, Aries energy again, uh, Taurus energy as well. Uh, kind of gives me Capricorn energy. Um, somebody, alternatively, this could be you taking the lead in your own life, like figuring out how to get control of your thoughts, trying to get kind of like almost like you're trying to reel in and get control of your own energy again um because maybe you feel like you've lost control slightly but it's in the upright so it's very very positive um whichever way you take this is it's positive uh we will pull clarifiers though um again uh, what somebody here could very well be an earth sign and um, the this is very grounded earthy energy uh again could be someone in kind of a senior position whether that's some kind of um community leader perhaps or uh, like a father figure or it's somebody who is um, a, a boss or has some position of authority and responsibility um, right okay let's get the action space Ugh, yeah look that king of cups the love is not be coming forward here uh, the king of cups somebody I feel has a huge amount of emotion here. Uh, this is very much coming through as this energy. Um, you can see kind of this almost like emotionally spiritual, very connected to their emotions. Uh, you know, he's got one of these singing bowls here. Um, he's, he's sat just, I don't know, the King of, King of Cups is somebody who... Uh, is very emotionally stable, very connected to their emotions, very nurturing, very loving, um, really lets their intuition and their feelings guide them. A big open heart. Uh, the King of Cups is a little bit more reserved than the Queen of Cups. He may not always um, go shouting his feelings from the rooftops, but he has a lot of emotional depth there. Um, with these cards both being in the reversed, it's like somebody needs to do some kind of emotional or spiritual healing. But I'm really feeling very strongly that somebody is really pulling back, really pulling back from this connection, not letting the feelings show. Um, and so yeah, especially with this emperor here in the thoughts, it's like um, trying to get control over this, uh, trying to trying to get a handle on the situation, um, almost being like, no, I'm stoic, I don't have feelings. What, what are you talking about? I don't have feelings. Hey, Bessie. Yeah, you have, have had, like, so much food this morning, you can't be hungry. What else do you want? <laughs> um, five of Cups. Um, what was that? Bess, what was that? <laughs> you freaked me out. Is there, is there a spirit here? <laughs> What was that about? You crazy girl. Um, five of Cups. Look, she's got a singing bowl as well. It's like your souls are singing to each other, but you're just trying to resist it because you're scared of this heartbreak, right? It's like, no, I don't want to open my heart. I don't want to risk heartbreak because somebody's... Re uh, yeah, it really feels like... Um, a fear here of um, abandonment, a fear of opening your heart and being rejected. Uh, it's like... There's too much involved. There's too there's too much emotion and passion here. Uh, it really feels like you've met the one, or it, it, vice versa. Right? I don't know whose energy I'm picking up on here. It could be vice versa. Um, somebody feels like this person is their person. It's like looking in a mirror. Absolutely connected emotionally and uh, sexually as well. Um, but my my back's going really hot now. I've said that. <laughs> oh, hello, energy. Um, and yeah you're like your hearts and your souls are singing to each other but it's like because there's so much here there's so much emotionally invested in this to be rejected by this person would be a rejection of the self because if this person is is so similar to you what was that in common song again um it's like it's something like how can you how can you love someone like me so if, if you if this person is like goes for it and is rejected it's like i can't even i can't i don't love myself does that make any sense whatsoever 
So perhaps somebody's just figuring out how to love themselves first, how to do the healing work first, love themselves first, so that if they were rejected, it wouldn't be so much of a blow. Because you don't want to be rejected by yourself, do you? That's the worst thing that could happen. So it explains why this person's really trying to get control over everything. Oh, God. Well, what's coming up in your heart space? You want something that's secure and grounded. You don't want to be messed around here. You want to you want a, a partnership with somebody who you can build a future with. You want you want a relationship that could lead somewhere, whether that leads to marriage or it leads to getting a home together. Um you want you want something that feels like you're gonna build a happy family with this person. Um yeah, you want to feel secure in a relationship. You don't want you don't want to risk you don't want to risk anything, I feel. Or them. You know, I don't know who's who here. Um in your thoughts, there's a lot of indecision here, a lot of trying to figure things out. Seven of Cups is a card about uh, a lot of emotional choices. You okay, Bess? What are you making weird noises at there? I'm going to shut that window a little bit more because you're scaring me a little bit. You're in a very, very scatty mood. Ego base. Oh no, don't bite me. <laughs> yeah, she's trying to chase the birds, so she's in a really kind of like. I'm ready to pounce move. So I tried to stroke her head and she was like, ah, oh, it's a bird, eat it. Um, right, okay. Uh, yeah, very indecisive, emotion, a lot of emotional choices here. Uh, and it's in your thoughts. You, your emotions are, are starting to guide your thoughts here, which I think is actually, you've got to have a balance, right? You can't completely go completely stoic and be like, I don't have emotions. What are you talking about? I have no emotional investment in this whatsoever. You know, that's just denying it. That's just pushing it down and it's, it's going to keep opening up for you. So you're figuring out maybe, maybe you've got some sort of choice in love or choice in friendships, but you, you're choosing someone who's going to make you feel secure. You want to feel stable, feel Perhaps you've been in uh, situations in your childhood, perhaps where um, you know parents or family members have have uh, split up, uh, p relationships have broken apart. Um, you felt a bit, you felt the instability of that. So you know that from your relationships, you want something where you're going to feel safe and protected, and like the other person is in it for the, lo the long term. Um, yeah. So emotionally, this is what you're you're thinking about. And what's going on in the action space, please? What's going on in the action space, please? Uh, yeah, making that decision. Look, making a decision, making a decision. Uh, you've you've got some kind of decision to make here, and I think it's a decision of do you go for it or do you walk away from it. They're giving me if you never try, you never know. Though from Coldplay, uh, is it fix you? If you never try, you never know. So can you walk away from it? Not ever knowing what what it could have been or are you going to give this person an ultimatum and say look we're going to do this thing but it's got to be serious i don't know i don't know what you're doing oh my god look at what's on the bottom though two of cups again look at the look at look at the energy look at the the that's emotional energy there all tangled up all those beautiful rainbow colors two people coming together and the souls just I don't know, it's really healing. It's this relationship and it's nine of cups there as well. It's like, yeah, you've got to kind of you've got to make sure you're good on your own though before you can you can do this. Um It looks like if you open up, if if you if you it both it takes both of you though, you've both got to open up. Um and that's the thing, it's like, you might be like, I'm prepared to open up, but it's the other person. And the other person sat there going, I'm prepared to open up, but it's the other person. So you're both thinking, well, what if the other person rejects me? You're mirroring. It's so, it's frustrating, isn't it? It's really frustrating. No wonder I felt so frustrated last night, starting to move into your energy. Right, um, tell me about the, tell me about this eight of wands with the king of pentacles. What happened there? To, yeah, somebody made a decision up this. Here's the two of wands here. Emotionally, I think you, somebody made a decision here to move towards this king of pentacles, to open up, to communicate. So there was a decision made there in the heart space. Um, why is the ace of cups in reverse, please? Why is the ace of cups in reverse? Yeah, too, somebody's too much stuck in their own head. Um This is, this is all the fears here. Look, three of swords here as well. 
excuse me um swords are about thoughts so there, there's a real fear of heartbreak here the it, the three of three of voices is the three of swords it's a card about heartbreak um but i don't think you, you've had heartbreak because i mean somebody could have offered a cup right somebody could have took the action offered the cup and it's been rejected which has caused heartbreak but the main thing that's coming through is somebody didn't offer the cup they didn't tell someone how they felt because they were so scared of the heartbreak it, the thoughts stopped them the thoughts put those walls up right um, tell me about justice, please. Why, why is justice here, please? Explain justice to me. Um, competition, fighting, arguments, conflict. So if there was any conflict, it's like just you, you're wanting currently a resolution to any kind of conflict that you've had. Um, could be a conflict within yourself, conflict of emotion, conflict of passion. What's the Ten of Swords? Feeling trapped. Trying to see, oh. feeling trapped. Really, somebody's very, very trapped in their own thoughts. Um, they could be feeling trapped by rules, social rules, as I said, um, um, uh, traditions, uh, the the values placed on you by uh, your, the people around you, uh, family members. What what would family members think if I walked away? What would family if I walked away? Towards my passion, what would family members think? What would what would people say about me if I did this? So your thoughts about the expectations of others are keeping you trapped. But it's almost like, or you, you're praying for a way out of a situation. Either way, it's causing a tower moment to come in because because you're not being authentic. I feel uh, a tower moment is 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 on its way for you. It's probably justice coming in. Um, it's like karmic justice, the universe coming in because. They either want to shake you out of a situation, they want to free you. Uh, the Hierophant card can be a card about um, it, its tradition, its its um, responsibilities, it's um, a very um, Saturn energy, um, a very um, like being being controlled by social rules, uh, traditions, uh, traditional values, values of the people around you, a social a social conditioning kind of thing. So yeah, it's it's like this tower moment is here to kind of really shake up this foundation, crack this foundation. Uh, it could be that you end up either walking away emotionally, trying to leave this connection, which I don't know if you can, uh, or a tower moment's coming in to shake your foundations, to to rock you out of whatever that place is where you where you feel stuck. Um Perhaps you've manifested it. Perhaps you've, you're asking for something to come in to, to break you free. Tell me about the Emperor. The world, yeah. And the Five of Emotions. So the Five of Emotions is here again. Um, there's a new cycle coming in here with this Emperor. Whoever the Emperor is, um, they... They may be trying to take over the world, right? They may be uh, focusing on career or um, practical matters. Um, they may feel like they have a lot of responsibility, like a, a world of responsibility. Uh, you know, they've not got time for emotions right now. Uh, it's almost like um, they've been hurt in the past, so they, um, they're focusing on something else now. They don't want to look at the love offer coming in because we've, we've kind of discussed that, haven't we? So... Um, they're thinking about, um, they may be thinking about traveling. Um, the, the world card can mean like global travel. Uh, they may be thinking about coming towards you. Uh, you may be thinking about moving towards them. Um, it's also a card about uh, completing a cycle, ending something. So it could be like um, the world card would come along, for example, if you um, have been at university and you're about to complete your course, um, you know, you've, you've completed that cycle of learning. Um, it could be someone completing um, some kind of uh, job cycle, uh, you know, completing career goals. Uh, it could be somebody um, closing out um, a period of learning how to stand on their own two feet, uh, how to take control of their life. There's quite a few things it could be. Um, with the five of emotions, though, the five of cups is the card about crying over spilt milk, um, relationships that didn't work out in the past, um, feeling a sense of loss, a, a sense of disappointment in things that were 
uh, emotionally um, disappointing. Uh, but the thing with the Five of Cups is there's always two cups standing, which is um, an equal uh, loving relationship. Um, somebody who's on your wavelength trying to come in for you, but you're too, too busy crying over spilt milk. So again, it could be that this emperor is focusing on um, a, a, maybe some kind of education or work um, thing that they're, they're doing, or um, they may be closing out a cycle of... Um, grieving sorry my video cut out they may be closing out a cycle here where they've been grieving about a relationship from the past um they may be closing that out now uh, and getting ready to move on hopefully because <laughs> that sounds good uh so what's going on why is everything in the reverse down here what's going on what's holding this person back Ooh, oh oh my goodness this is pretty big sagittarius yeah somebody could have had a spiritual awakening um you may want to Google that, Spiritual Awakening. Um, wake me up inside, right? Is another Evanescence song? Wake me up inside, call my name and save me from the dark. Bid my blood to run before I come undone. Save me from the nothing I've become. They're giving me a hollow shell, like a husk. Um, so yeah, somebody's completely stepped out. I feel like somebody had a disappointment in the past, completely stepped out of their emotions. Um, now they're giving me... Is it Hollow by Tori Kelly? They're giving me a song called... Yeah, I think it's Hollow by, by Tori Kelly. Because um, I'm hollow, I'm hollow. Um, fill up my cup, drown me in love. Yeah, drown me in love, look. Right, I love when they give me songs and they just fit what's, what's going on. Um, so, yeah, this is like... Um, they're giving me wake me up inside again whatever this love is whoever's been very very closed off to it i feel like they, they can't really deny the feelings they can't they can't really run from this because it's it's literally waking up something that was that was dead inside it's like they, if their heart had closed out if it the heart had closed off they put the walls up you've somehow got in under the defences it's and, and you're making the heart sing i was going to say you're making the heart shine but they said that you're making the heart sing um the awakening card is actually the judgment card in the normal tarot so this is um uh death and rebirth um hearing the call um being woken up again um karma as well coming in so it's like um i really feel that like this person emotionally closed down they they really um, again, I really feel like somebody really threw themselves into work here. Emotionally closed down, um, became, all right, Bess, um, came emotionally cold, uh, emotionally like drained, walls up. But it's like, it's like this, this relationship is trying to come in because it's trying to get this in the upright, right? It's trying to heal. Uh, the four of voices is the need to kind of, to take some time out, to think things through, to kind of, um, go inwards to explore what's going on for you really explore your emotions as well with this with this card um it could be that somebody's feeling very very connected to the universe right now to uh spirituality um it's almost like undeniable as well i mean that's how it felt for me at the, at the beginning of the year i felt like i had a spiritual awakening um all of a sudden it was like oh my goodness the universe is here <laughs> like literally i'd get the song the universal's here by blur i'd go is this real and then spotify be like the universal's here <laughs> so it's like um yeah it's it's this feeling of like oh my goodness like like i'm getting aware of all this stuff now <laughs> like is everybody else aware of this um so yeah that's what's going on here maybe that this has already happened for you and this person's just catching up right um or oh, this could be what you're doing um i am not sure sagittarius so that ten of pentacles is pretty self-explanatory i think somebody really wants a, a stable relationship yeah they're not giving me anything else on that seven of cups so why is this indecision here indecision two of pet materials trying to balance out things um 
and again you've got the just justice card there there is this sense of trying to balance find balance uh six of emotions again six of cups balancing out emotions yeah somebody's really trying to balance themselves emotionally and in a practical sense they're like okay i've got these feelings um i can't deny them i've tried to run away from them i've tried to push them down swallow them drown them uh, literally at somebody could be drinking in order to try and get out the feelings to try and get out the headspace so it's like they've done everything they can to try and run from this and they can't it's eternal right this this infinity symbol here it's eternal you've got these feelings now what are you going to do with them you, you've got to learn how to live with these feelings whether whatever decision you make in regards to this relationship you can't deny that you have them um, so it's like, do you admit that you have these feelings, but still try and carry on with your normal existence, or do you move towards this relationship? Somebody is trying to find a balance here. They're making, making, they're making the mind up. I'm getting so many songs for you. Uh, they're making the mind up, and um, yeah, f trying to figure out how to balance out, how to incorporate these new feelings. Uh, this sudden waking up of the heart space <laughs> uh, how are they going to incorporate that into their everyday life okay what are they going to do with that so this could be you this could be this other person um two of wands uh so what what's this decision then i mean the decision is yours to make isn't it sagittarius you you get you're in control of your own life so you can't control what other people are doing so what are you going to do what are you going to do um You're bossing up, Sagittarius. You are taking charge. Yeah, you're realizing now that you're the you're the master of your own life. You're the master of your own existence. You are the person who decides what you do. Nobody else gets to decide what you do. Um, so whatever this other person's doing, if they're busy mess messing around, you know, figuring out what figuring out what they want, right? Being indecisive, being uncooperative, trying to trying to balance themselves out. You're like, well, I'm just going to go and live my own life. Um, you're not walking away though. You're not walking away from them. The Eight of Cups is um, somebody who's walking away because something's missing in their life. There's like this big gaping black hole, right? But it's like you are... You or this other person, one of you is like... Um, this is like really taking the wheel yourself. And it's like you're, you're not, not walking away from this. It's like you're not walking away, but you're going to be self-reliant. You're going to stand on your own two feet. And if this person wants to eventually like come through, like look at the kind of those two circles. There. If that other person eventually wants to come into your life, you've got that space waiting for them. But in the meantime, you need to, you can't sit around moping. You can't sit around waiting. You've got to get up and get moving, I think, is what that's saying there. Uh, page of materials there. Um, come up with a plan. Come up with a bit of a plan of action like back to the drawing board a little bit uh it's quite it's quite good energy i like this idea of um allowing the feelings in uh processing them uh figuring out how to incorporate them um because i think that's healthier rather than kind of suppress feelings or deny feelings um i think being able to accept them and that that's how you start to find the balance and that's how you start to get into this emperor energy you know the, you can't be the emperor if you're the king of cups in reverse you have to be the king you have to be all four kings in the upright in order to be the emperor whether you're female or male right it's just really taking charge taking taking the reins of your own life i'm going to read the emperor card um maybe it's you maybe it's this other person i don't know um i'm going to read awakening as well actually i think because i just saw it Awakening. Awakening to your divine nature, judgment, facing the music, ascension, accepting and forgiving your beautiful soul. Accepting and forgiving your beautiful soul. Nobody's perfect. And if you can't love yourself, then you can't love another person. And if you can't love another, that, those traits in someone else, if you can love those traits in someone else, because this person feels like they're mirroring you. They've had similar experiences. If they're mirroring your faults and you still love them, then you can love yourself. You can love those faults in yourself. And I think that's maybe what you're figuring out. Um, prompt. Intrinsic expansion. Rising above the clouds, we find clarity in ourselves, in our pasts, in our actions. The key to this judgment, this awakening, this reckoning of the heart and memory is to be able to dish out the radical self-compassion and forgiveness. See yourself as the beautiful spark of inspiration that you are. 
You are divine, love, mystery. And when you open yourself up to this beautiful truth, you will see that your flaws are rooted in your humanness. Beautiful soul, bright, shiny light, awaken to the magic you possess, possess in your heart and see, past, see your past as the incredible lesson that it was. A history of beautiful and broken things that have brought you right here to this moment, to this place where you can bear witness to your own magnificence where only the judgment to be laid down is by your own honest heart and where a forgiveness of the spirit is the remedy for your be beautiful future. What are we but ashes, fire, water and air, laced with pure ma magic and dusted with prayer? I've got, I've got goosebumps. <laughs> I've got goosebumps. I wish I hadn't, I wish I'd read that a bit more smoothly, but you know, Mercury in retrograde. Um, I'm turning this up right because I think this is what you need to do. This is what's happening for you. You're healing. Uh, emperor, emperor, emperor. Yeah, accepting yourself, loving yourself, taking control of your life. Scorpio, you're bossing it. Scorp Why did I call you Scorpio? Maybe you've got a Scorpio placement. Sagittarius, you're bossing it. Uh, success and structure, leadership and the divine masculine, planning and delivering, building and expanding an empire, a legacy, a business person, a visionary, a provider, the time for strategic thinking, prompt, bedrock of strategy. She drums her fingers and sends a quartet of Boralis strings out into the sky, a simple joy, but one that she happily gifts the people below. The lights, serve, the lights serve as a reminder that there is a symphony of life around them, a bigger plan that is not always evident from every vantage point. She steps onto the solid landscape with all the strength and harmonic leadership that a powerful emperor muse can bestow, sharing her secrets of success with you. Lead confidently, graciously, empower those around you to do the very best work. Be a guardian, a provider, a steward. Revisit how you care and provide for yourself and for others. And then her heart lights up when she sees the happy earthly hums from the people below. The glow of contented dreams warms the top of the mountains and peace fills the valley below as they realise they are protected, fostered and safe. Authority, stability, these things provide... Control, vision now, and claim your lead. Protect and feed your goal. Okay. Well, there you go. Uh, let's pull you an advice card. My nose is itching me like crazy. I have taken an allergy tablet. I seem to get allergies around autumn, so I don't know if it's something to do with like the leaves, like shedding the the um, the trees shedding the leaves. Yeah, I always seem to get autumn allergies. Um, right, okay. What's in the underlying there? Never ending story. Haha, <laughs> that's funny because uh, somebody um, that came up yesterday, I can't remember why now, but it was on Twitter and I posted um, the uh, an image of the song um, from um, Stranger Things. Um, yeah, the girl singing it. Uh, regeneration and breathe. These are going in the right. I'm going to read the, the protection messages. Uh, because because they came out in the reverse, um, I think that means that I need to read the protection messages. So yeah, somebody needs to do that healing, right? This this here, have that spa day, treat yourself. <laughs> um, you know, whatever you want to do to relax, to uh, to chill out. Maybe have a bath. Maybe get, fill the bath. Make it really really warm and nice. Get some nice smelling salts or something in there. Light some candles, some joss sticks. Just make the whole environment really nice, and then turn out the lights. Play some music. Maybe get a singing bowl, um, and just kind of turn everything else off, and just connect to that spiritual side, and just see what happens. See what comes in for you. Um, I feel like water could be very important for you. Um, make, make, make sure you're drinking enough water. Uh, try maybe take a walk near water if they, you've got a lake or something nearby or a river. Try and be near water. I feel like the water could, the sound of water perhaps. Perhaps you could get near a fountain and listen to the sound of water. Make sure you have a pee first. Uh, so breathe. Protection message. Inertia, laziness and, and apathy are signs of not slowing down. Uh, a signs not of slowing, let me start again. Inertia, laziness and apathy are signs not of slowing down, but of decay and lifelessness. Wake up, wake me up inside, and do something to shake this off. 
Go outside for some air. A walk in nature will remind you that all of life is ensouled and magical. Get some exercise. Move out of your head and into your body and breathe in deeply. Each breath is precious. Well, I'm glad I did that without having to be prompted because that's literally what I did this morning. I felt so lazy. Like, I felt so tired and, like, literally, like, dead. Like, I just needed to go back to bed and just not exist <laughs> for a few hours. Um... But I was like, right, I need to shake this off. Literally what this says, shake it off. Uh, now you've got Taylor Swift. I've got, I'm not going to remember all these songs that have come through for this reading. Um, yeah, and I, I went and I put my headphones on and I, I went and walked. Um, just ra kind of around a big block, right? Um, just to get that fresh air and exercise. So, yeah, this is probably what you need to do too. Everything happens for a reason. Um, so, nice to know that I'm leading my example for you here today. Uh, so, Regeneration 46 protection message endings come in many forms and now is the time to stop holding on to what must die so that something better can take its place nature's cycles include disease decay death and regeneration let whatever isn't working in your life die don't be afraid to face the facts there's no need to struggle or grieve whatever your query let it go you are about to be reborn right reborn here um and this card here, and it's in your current energy, uh, awakening and the world uh, are the cards in your current energy. You're on the verge of regeneration. Uh, but I think with that Ten of Swords up there and this Tower moment coming in, whatever all this business is that was keeping you trapped, um, once you let go, that's you're on the verge of this awakening. Um, what is the never-ending story for you? What are you stuck in? What, what, what are you holding on to that you know you need to give up? Look, fork in the road. And then there's the polar bear. <laughs> um, Co-create. Uh, yeah, okay. I feel like you need to hit... The, it could be what this, this energy is. It could be that you need to make something or work with somebody else. Co-create a leg up. It's like somebody's coming in to give you a helping hand or maybe that you need to create something with someone else. And look, there's that cheater there, look. It's like this is the other cheater there waiting for you um, to come and play cheater games. I don't know. Uh, right, whatever that is, I don't know. But... Um, Sagittarius I really hope that was helpful to you I am literally going to go back to bed now because I need to so I'm going to upload this video while it's uploading I'm going to have a nap and I will see you soon so sorry if it's a bit late up <laughs> I need it I need it <laughs> bye guys